right, seventh grade, lesson 49. This is on adding mixed measures. Okay, for example, somebody was five feet, eight inches, feet and inches. See how that, so you're learning if you have problems where you need to take away four feet and three inches, how to do that, okay? So for example, we have one yard, I'm gonna write this down on your paper, two feet and seven inches, and they want us to add two yards, two feet, and eight inches. Okay, now the most important thing that we're going to pay attention to is you want to kind of divide it into three categories. We need to add the inches, add the feet, add the yards, and then we look at it overall, okay, and figure out if there's anything else we can do. So let's do that. Eight and seven, 15. I'm going to bring down my inches. Two and two, four feet. One plus two is three yards. Now, this is where it's important to know um, how many inches are in a foot or how many feet are in a yard. Okay? So, do you know how many inches are in one foot? Twelve. So, can we take twelve of these inches and bring them over here and put one foot? So, if I take away twelve of these inches, how many will I have left? Three. Three inches left. And so, if I bring that twelve inches over and convert twelve inches into one foot, then one foot plus four foot makes five foot. Got it? Okay. All right. And then um, three yards, five foot, three inches. Okay. But then you can ask yourself, how many feet are in one yard? Three feet are in one yard. So how many can I take away here? Three. Three. So if I take away three feet from here to bring it over there, then I have two feet left, right? So let's bring this three feet that I took away, which is one yard, okay? And so our final is four yards, two feet, three inches. See how we did that? Mm -hmm. So the most important thing you need to remember on these kind of problems is you always work left to right. I'm sorry, right to left. I said it the wrong way. You're always going to work just like you do math problems. You always start from this side and move this way, okay? So, once you get your answer, then you ask yourself, how many inches are in a foot? How many feet are in a yard? And you start going in that direction. Got it? You feel like you understand? Okay, so, so maybe some things that you need to write down if you don't already know is that 12 inches is one foot, okay? And three feet equals one yard, okay? Now, a yardstick stands about this high, so three feet, okay, just so you know. So when I say one yard, it's not actually a yard outside. It's a yard stick, if you've ever seen a yard stick. It's three feet long, okay? Now, let's do one more, and this one's probably more of what you would use on an everyday life, because it's about time. Okay, for example, two hours, 40 minutes, 35 seconds, okay? And they want us to add one hour, 45 minutes, and 50 seconds. And they want us to add it, okay? Now, what's the very first step I took last time? Uh, do you remember me dividing that? Yeah, you broke it up into categories. Uh-huh. And then which way am I moving? From left to right or right to left? Right to left. Very good. Okay, so let's go on and add our seconds. 50. Now, the important thing is you're adding 50 plus 35, um, and that's very important when you start subtracting because um, you want to subtract time or add time. So this is 50 seconds plus 35 seconds, which equals 85 seconds. Okay? We'll figure out what to do with that in just a minute. All right? 40 minutes plus 45 minutes equals 85 minutes. And two hours plus three, one hour is three hours. Okay? Now, can I change any of these? Like, can I take 60 seconds from here and bring it over here? Yeah. Okay. So let's do things like that, okay? So now you start from the right. After you finish completing it, you start at the right and ask yourself, can I add... 
Can I move it anywhere over here? Okay? Because we want to put it in the simplest form. So how many seconds equal a minute? 60. So if I take 60 seconds away, then I have 15 left. Okay, but let's want to take the 60 seconds and move it over here and convert it to minutes. So 60 seconds is how many minutes? One, One minute. Okay, which gives us 86 minutes. Okay? 60 minutes is an hour. 60 minutes equals one hour. So I can take 60 of the minutes from here, and that gives me what? 26. 26 uh, minutes left. Okay? So if I take 60 minutes and bring it over here, that gives me what? One hour, right? Mm -hmm. So that makes four hours. So now in the simplest form, this equals four hours, 26 minutes, and 15 seconds. See how we did that? Okay. So that's pretty much lesson 49.